I want to talk about something that you may not have heard of. And this may surprise you as well. Let's go to Romans 13 and 1. To the left is the King James Version, to the right is the Expanded Bible. Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers. For there is no power but of God. The powers that be are ordained of God. Okay. So, what is this saying? Let's go to the Expanded Bible. All of you must yield, obey, submit, be subject to the government rulers. So we have to obey governmental rulers. Wait a minute. If they are telling you to do something sinful, don't do it. But the laws that are not sinful, you have to do it. You have to pay your taxes. You can't cheat on your taxes. If you do, that is a sin. Let me continue. Okay. Okay. Stop playing. No one rules unless God has given him the power to rule. So the power for that person to rule is coming from God. I don't want to obey that person because I don't like that person. It does not matter who you like. You have to obey because God has placed that person over you. You have to obey. I am sure that many people don't like many of the past and present kings and queens and presidents and so on and so on, but the way that you feel about them does not matter. You have to obey the non-sinful laws. If you don't, you are disobeying God because he is the one that appointed and is allowing that ruler to do what they are doing now. <clears throat> okay. Let me continue. Where am I? No one rules unless God has given him the power to rule. And no one rules now without the power from God. So the power is coming from God. Well, you know, this person did not say that they are a Christian. It does not matter. God allows heathens to rule. Like I said. For instance, let's say that a government ruler is telling you to have sex before marriage. Don't do it. Let's say that a government ruler is telling you to have sex with animals or to curse people out or for 24 hours you get to murder anyone that you want to. Don't do it. Why? Because it is sinful. Whoever is ruling now is ruling because God has placed that person there. Do you believe that God is only going to place people who serve him as king or president, so on and so on? Of course not. If you read in the Bible, you are going to see that there were so many kings, queens, so on and so on that were heathen. They were heathens. Very pagan. Okay. Let me stretch. Uh, okay. Stretch all the way down. Okay. Whew. All right. So let's go to Daniel chapter 2, verse 21. 
and he changeth the times and the seasons. So who is this talking about? Who can change the times and the seasons? Only God can, right? I can't do it. You aren't able to do it. <laughs> so this is speaking about God. He removeth kings and setteth up kings. So this is saying that God removes kings and set up kings. So all of this is happening because of God. So think about all the evil kings and stuff like that out there. They were allowed to rule because God allowed them to rule. Well, I think that is wrong. Well, who are you? <laughs> you are just a human. And how much and how much knowledge does humans have? Not that much. So what you agree with does not really matter. Now, I don't know the reason why he does it, but who cares? I don't have to know. He is God. He can do whatever he wants to do. What can I say about it? Not much. Well, I can, but it would be foolish of me. Okay. He giveth wisdom unto the wise and knowledge to them that know understanding. So everything comes from God. Who can say that he is doing wrong? We don't know everything. We don't know half of everything. We don't know a quarter of everything. We are like ants. We don't know much of anything, but some people are bold enough to say, what type of God would do something like that? You don't know nothing. You are like a, like a tiny ant, like a penny. <laughs> we are like pennies. And you are trying to question God. Okay, I really hope this understands. I mean, I really hope you understand. We have to follow the laws. Unless they are sinful. So paying your taxes is not a sin. Going the speed limit is not a sin. Doing something, following a law that is not sinful is not a sin unto you. So you have to do it. If you don't, you are disobeying God. Yes, it was a huge shock for me when I learned this. And I could go through other scriptures as well, but let me keep this halfway short, about eight minutes or so. <laughs> so if you have any questions, you can ask me and I will try to help you. I'm serious because I want many of us or I want as many people to get to heaven as possible. Whether I know you or not, it really does not matter. I want you to go to heaven. I don't want anyone to go to hell besides Satan and demons and so on and so on. But every human, I want you to go to heaven. If you don't want to go to heaven, hey, <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> okay. God bless.